am really humbled to be here because I am a fairly new business owner. So lots of seasoned professionals, this makes me a bit nervous, but then I remembered there are so many new entrepreneurs in this room and my strategy is the exact tactic I use to grow my business in a really short time, enabling me to leave my full-time marketing director job in real estate development and run my business full-time, replace my salary immediately after leaving. So let's get into it. This is so easy. So I won't bore you with the details because Brittany introduced me better than I ever could, but I started my business in October 2022, so less than a year ago, and I just entered a hyper growth phase this last May, yeah, three months ago, and it's all thanks to this strategy. So this is how it started. That was my landing page. I had three clients and they were all personal connections. I was bringing in two to 5K a month, so not good, not bad, not enough to leave my full-time job. And I was exercising a cool girl vibe, okay? Because I saw some other consultants that were my direct competitors doing this and they had minimal landing pages, uh, no public social media presence, and whatever they were doing was working for them. So I'm like, yeah, low effort, sounds amazing. Um, but it did not work for me. So when I decided that I needed to invest in my business full time, I turned to uh, these guys right here. Who has ever used a website like this before? Just raise your hand. Okay, yes, yes, lots. Um, quite popular, woo! Uh, if you are a freelancer or if you've ever started to grow your client base, you've probably turned to one of these. Um, most of them are paid, some of them are free. Uh, Marketplace is that free corner, scary corner of the internet. But my strategy hones in on one. So that one is called Bark.com. Hands up if you've ever used Bark before. Yes, okay, not that many of you. Perfect, that's what I was hoping for. And honestly, it is an untapped resource. So after my presentation, actually no, after Sean's presentation, download this app immediately. So this is an online marketplace with over 300 service categories. So not just marketing, if you are an accountant, if you are a coach, I know there's a lot of you in the room, uh, any marketing discipline, personal trainer, landscaper, heard there was one of those, uh, house cleaner, this is your gold mine of leads. Potential clients submit their leads, service providers purchase the leads using credits, and the credits cost about $2 each, um, but you have to buy them in bulk. So you're spending about two to $500 for a credit pack every single time you gotta reload. And uh, to give you some context, for a social media management lead um, that's worth about two to $5,000 a month in revenue for you is gonna cost about 40 credits, so about $80. Um, so yeah, obviously not free, um, but it wasn't free because I wasn't using it in the right way. So instead of treating this like a marketplace platform, you had to start using it like a marketing platform because of the sheer amount of leads that are on this site. So when I shifted my perspective, I was like, okay, marketing consultant, tune into your marketing brain. Think about who the audience is. So this is your audience, and actually this is what a lead looks like if you haven't used the platform before. So the contact information is starred out, so you can't see it until you purchase the lead. Um, but there's kind of three groups of people that use this app if they're looking for a service provider. So they don't know where or how to find the help they need. They're not sure what they need or they're just lazy. But for all intents and purposes, we're focusing on these two because this client is not your ideal client. They are not gonna pay you on time and they're probably not even gonna respond to your emails in a timely manner. It's just not, not a good time. So we are focused on these two clients because these are the people that care about their business. They're going to create that lead and then lo like log onto the app, search around, so they can actually view other service provider profiles. So they're actually gonna poke around and see who's out there and maybe start to reach out to them on a very free basis. Because I'm sure that's what you're wondering. When, when does it get free? So when I realized, oh, okay, I'm getting a low battery message. Okay, so when I decided I was gonna start using this as a marketing 
platform instead of a marketplace platform. I got clear on my audience and then I decided I had to optimize my profile in three different ways to appeal to those two key audience members that we just talked about. So this is what your profile looks like once you've filled it out. But remember, I was exercising my cool girl vibe. So I had like no information. Um, I certainly didn't have any reviews. And like honestly, maybe a couple lines that they actually tell you your profile is like 30% complete. Um, yeah. So it's because you're doing it all wrong. You need to connect to that ideal client by building authority, trust, and interest, and that's by filling this frickin' thing out. So I want you to add your years of experience, and seriously, any specific niches or specific service industries that you serve, um, you get all industries are submitting leads on this platform. So if you're niching down, then you're definitely going to want to add that because that's immediately going to give you a connection to that client. I also want you to add your geographic location. I did not do this because I thought, hey, I serve people nationwide, globally, in the States. Well, guess what? If you want to form a connection with that person that's nearby or feeling a bit unsure of where to turn, that close proximity is actually going to make them feel better. Just knowing that, like, hey, I could like drive down the road and see this person. And yes, I do live in Langley. It's not that far, you guys. Um, but you know what? <laughs> there is a gold mine of leads in Langley, just saying. Um, also, you've got to add some client reviews. So at the time of this presentation, I only had three. But that is far more than anyone else has on the platform. And they actually don't need to come from someone you've served on Bark. There's a public link you can send to anybody that you want to leave your review, and they can do it. I just need to get more friends to do that. And then use a photo of yourself, not your logo. This is actually a mistake I made, not only here, but on Instagram when I was trying to, or still am, trying to grow my following. I used a f my brand as my profile image. And then I realized I wasn't connecting to that ideal client that's feeling a bit unsure about their business. So once I changed my profile photo to be an actual image of me, everything changed because people knew that they were connecting with a human and not just, you know, a logo, some letters. Hold for the balls. Okay, so then I want you to get into what do you offer. So you have the, uh, yeah, I heard it when I said it. You have this whole, God, I always wanted to be a stand-up comedian. Okay, so you have this whole list, or you have the ability to fill out a whole list of services. Um, so I didn't in the beginning, and that was wrong. Uh, so I want you to outline all of your services, but I want you to do it with plain language, no technical jargon. People don't understand it, especially if we're appealing to that audience that doesn't know who or what or how to get what they want. I also want you to create clear payment structures so you don't have to put your price on Bark. Um, but you, I do recommend um, mentioning if something is a one-time fee or a monthly retainer. Uh, just because, you know, a lot of clients these days want to build a long-standing relationship with a service provider. So if you say, hey, my marketing, oh my god, marketing and PR support is going to carry on for six months, we're going to learn about each other, connect, have coffee, probably meet your family. People want that. They want to deal with a real human. So give them the opportunity to know you're not just going to set up something for them and peace out and tell them how results are measured, okay? That's sales 101. Tell them exactly what they're looking for in leads, sales, followers, whatever it is. Tell them that that package isn't gonna give it to them. Okay, and finally, if you take anything away from this, you gotta tell them how to contact you because Bark will censor your email and your phone number, as you saw, so don't do that. Funnel those potential clients to an external platform, whether it's your website or social media platform, whatever it is, include it in your about section, very specific, include in the about section, it's the first thing they see, because Bark Profile is your breadcrumb. That is where you have just formed enough of a connection to that potential client that they're like, hey, I think this is my girl. I wanna know more about her. And look, her website's right there, put it into my browser, and then my funnel, 
and yours will too, hopefully. I think Sean's going to tell you how to make a killer landing page, so I'll say that for them. Um, <laughs> that funnel needs to reinforce the connection you just made. So you've now taken them to your website, and now they should just say, hey, here I am. I'm reaching out to this person. They don't have to contact me through Bark. They don't have to spend their money. And yeah, so let me just tell you how, oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you how it's going. So remember, I started my business last October. Three clients, all personal connections. I employed this tactic, these three optimizations. Three, three, oh my god, <clears throat> three, wow, months ago. Um, and now I have th over 30 clients. 66% are from Bark. And 50% of those have converted in the last 90 days. Yes, since I made those optimizations on Bark. I average two to five free leads a week, and these are all, <laughs> paid a lot of money for this teeth, two to five free leads per week. These are people that are coming directly from Bark. I know that because I ask them. That's good business management. Um, they come directly to me, submit the contact form on my website, that counts, or follow me on Instagram and send a DM. I tripled my monthly revenue, okay? This enabled me to leave my full-time job, and you know, finally, I traded my cool girl vibe, because who wants that, for a transparent girl vibe, because that is how you connect with your customers, by telling them exactly what it is you give them and how you can help them. But it's especially why I'm here tonight telling you this strategy so you can grow your business just like I did, because you all deserve to. Thanks so much. <laughs>